Hi, it's uh, Kerry Dawson of TechNow, and I want to talk about productivity systems. And the a productivity system is more than just your task manager. It, it involves other things. Uh, first, I'm going to start with the task manager, though, because it really is sort of a jumping off point. Uh, but as you work with the task manager, uh, information will build up and you'll need sort of a dumping ground for it or a bucket. Uh, that can be DevonThink or Evernote. And a lot of people are starting to turn back to DevonThink because it's uh, outright sale. Uh, they don't upgrade it very often. So you don't have constant uh, price changes, price charges. Uh, um, with the subscription-based model such as uh, Evernote, and you really have to go to that if you're going to do anything uh, worthwhile. Uh, it can get very expensive uh, over not even a long time. Um, some people are not overly happy about the subscription-based model. Um, in this uh, demonstration here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you two task managers, both very, very good, both very powerful. One, this one here, is a subscription-based model, and it's kind of the new kid on the block. The other one to do, so this is Tick Tick. The other one to do is been around for a while. Uh, it's matured nicely. Uh, it's got a nice interface, and uh, basically you're going to be, uh, you'll find the interesting, both of these have very similar functionality. Uh, to do, I would say, is a little bit uh, richer. So, just to give you an idea of uh, the similarity of functionality, if you look at, so in uh, Task Manager, you're going to have uh, lists or areas of functionality. You're going to have within those lists, uh, so these are the lists here, uh, they call them folders here. Within that, you might have uh, either just an individual task, which you call a single action task, or you'll have a project, and this would be a project. Within a project, uh, you'll have tasks. Tasks will be what you have to do and to get to your goal. And finally, you might have subtasks uh, within a task, uh, things you have to do in the task to get that done. Uh, both of these have all of that, uh, so that's great. Both of them have uh, um, fairly uh, advanced functionality in terms of entry. Uh, that is, it's pretty intuitive, it's fast, and that's important. Uh, you don't want to mess around for long periods of try time trying to get things in. Uh, both of them support uh, priorities, due dates, uh, all the standard stuff. But some things like OmniFocus uh, uh, don't support priorities. And I think priorities are important because you can change those and therefore change your views. Now, what's uh, so just to give you an idea of the similarity between these, here are your standard lists. They're very similar. Here are your action lists. Uh, so you have personal shopping, financial work. These are uh, just like the, they call this folders. These are lists. And you might have computer work, personal financial, medical, whatever. And within these lists or within these folders, you're going to have your uh, projects or individual tasks. And in individual tasks, I put them under a single task. I, action uh, list. Within the, uh, within the tasks then, you, uh, so a uh, project, I'm sorry, within a project, the project is your goal, what, what you want to get done. So you're going to have tasks to get that thing done. And so a task might uh, be set of, if it's grocery, it might be you have to buy these things, if it's uh, say, uh, advertise, uh, it might just have one task under it. Um, this is exactly the same uh, where it has uh, um, 
groceries and you could have groceries filled out exactly the same way. Uh, bread, pan, uh, pan, milk, dr salad dressing, and on it goes. As you complete these things, uh, you just uh, tick them off and they're completed. Same here. And when you complete your full task, you'll have completed your project. Uh, and so you're moving along your path of uh, getting your items, which may be many during the day, done. Uh, so just to start, you might want to take uh, an overview of everything that you have to do. You might want to look at what you have to do just today, though. If you don't have a lot to do just today, you might want to look at uh, more than just today. Uh, where these task manager shine is in the custom uh, re um, views that you can make and to do has a slew of, a slew of them. You can uh, create overdue tasks, so tasks that you've done but you just want to see for reference point, reference purposes what you've done. Uh, do today tasks, today and tomorrow tasks, tasks for the next three days, the next seven days, just your high priority tasks, the things that you really need, or you feel you really need to do. It, the same applies over here. You put it under custom and build out custom uh, views. And uh, medium and low priority tasks, that is, you've got most of your stuff done. You're feeling pretty comfortable, so you might want to just look at the medium priority or all your projects and so all your projects would be under here and you just have one or yeah you just have one you click it and you find out it's this and it has one task so you don't have necessarily a lot to do what I find happens is you can really build up these projects and tasks pretty extensively um, yeah, yeah. you can go a little bit overboard so you want to try to make sure that the tasks are on target and they're leading to a goal and you can get these things done. Uh, there's nothing worse than uh, how are you making out with your project? Uh, oh great, I've got like a thousand tasks and uh, uh, oh, how many of those tasks have you got done? Well, I haven't gotten any done because I'm still writing. You, know, you don't want that. Um, so in either of these, um, your goal really is uh, management and them as an assist, a reminder, get it out of your brain uh, so that GTD model, get it out of your brain so you don't have to think about it, you know, think about ideas and stuff and put it on here as a reminder. Now, the big difference between these two is cost. This is an outright sale item and it doesn't change frequently so it's not like you're going to be inundated with cost every year. This is a subscription model so every year you're going to be uh, have to pay a price to keep using it. A lot of people are not overly keen on the subscription model. Uh, this one here can also be a subscription model through uh, a program system called Setup and set up you pay about a hundred dollars uh, a year but it gives you access to uh, a large variety of applications like Ulysses, uh, this application to do uh, Journey which is a task management application. In some ways it's the only subscription based model I do like because it seems to have fairly good value for the money. Uh, but otherwise, I would tend to go to this one because it's outright sale. But it is in uh, setup, and if you have setup, you can use it under that and uh, have it as part of your uh, sort of mortgaged uh, <laughs> set of set of programs. What I'm going to do next is talk about the uh, programs that are ancillary to your task management. Um, uh, in terms of the work you have to do. And one thing you're definitely going to need is what I call the dumping ground, where you put your information and you can build on that information to allow you to develop uh, your ideas, uh, uh, 
products, whatever it may be. And Devon Think is the one I'm going to concentrate on the most. Uh, Evernote has been beaten to death. Uh, so I'll concentrate on Devon Think in the next video. Thank you very much.